Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to do a first impression let's play review of a game called Ale and Tail Tavern. The game costs $15 and it recently released on Steam. I'm not sure if it released out of early access. Let me just have a look quickly. No, it, it never it never went into early access, so it just fully released onto Steam recently without early access or anything like that. So, anyway, today I am going to be playing the game and I am going to be giving you my running commentary as I play through the game. I'm probably going to be playing at least an hour of the game. If you don't want to watch the full video, uh, then you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video i will put a timestamp in the description below and you can just skip to that timestamp if you only want to hear my quick concise final opinion on the game and whether or not i can recommend the game but otherwise than that you can just stay tuned if you're not in a hurry and i will just be playing through the game and i will be giving you my running commentary as i play through the game and i will be telling you what i think is good and bad about the game basically the pros and cons of the game as i play through the game today so um the game is uh the game does have co-op so uh, i'm not gonna review the co-op part of the game i always say that if a game isn't good single player then it doesn't really deserve a purchase sure a game can be uh, more varied and the experiences that you get can be more varied in multiplayer or in co-op but if the single player isn't good then i really can't recommend the game so i will check out the, f the single player first and then after that perhaps i will do a co-op um, stream probably i won't do a co-op review i'll just do a co-op stream as well but the game does have a uh, co-op so that should definitely be mentioned uh, the developer sent me a key by the way just uh, so that you guys know as well because i always like to point out if i bought the game myself with my my patreon supporters um money or if a developer sent me a key so the developer sent me a key for this game so uh, when we look at the options menu it's really quite basic you can change the resolution there's full screen uh, windowed full screen and then windowed and then the quality options are normal high and medium there's no defined quality settings like uh, shadow quality, environmental detail, character detail, object detail, draw distance. There's nothing like that. Everything is rolled into one setting, which is not good normally. Um, I would like to change each setting individually, but unfortunately you cannot do that in this game. You can't turn off or change shadows for instance so that is something that if you have a weak pc then you're gonna struggle even if you put it on low for instance you might still have a pc that is not powerful enough to run the game that is why it's pretty important to be able to customize all of the different settings in the game otherwise in that v-sync good fps limit good fov we are going to turn that up a little bit and then um the sound options really basic nothing really amazing uh, i would like to be able to choose the output device right here you should be able to choose the output device in any game you should be able to choose the output device even on the video screen you should be able to to choose the output monitor so if you have a multiple monitor setup like i do you should be able to choose the, the monitor so you can't choose the monitor and you can't choose the output device over here so those are missing quality of life features otherwise than that that looks fine you can change the key binds uh, i would like to have dual key bindings dual key bindings are always nice 
unfortunately this game does not have the key bindings and then game language and dishwasher assist i don't know what that is i guess we will see when we get into the game so that's it the settings are really quite basic and there's a couple of settings missing in my opinion avatar okay so let's check out okay you can't zoom in or out why does that dude have such huge bloody hands like his forearms seem massive his hands also seem a little bit too bloody big like holy balls he's got big hands it's like the opposite of donald trump just massive bloody hands let's see male female skin color you can change okay so there's five different skin colors and then eyes so the game zooms in once you go to the eyes and then hair and then brows even though the brows just changes the color it's not like different brows even uh, let's check out the male one as well so skin obviously different colors eyes different eyes hair okay let's remove the hat i guess bloody hell how many hats are there okay well it looks like there's a lot of hats but actually it's just the same hat that is recolored and then hair different types of hair once again the hair it looks like there's over 30 different options for hair but actually it's one option that is recolored five times so there's actually just like six or seven different hair choices and each of those choices are recolored so what i would like here is just to select a different hair type and then select the hair color in another thing over here it's really irritating going through these different hair colors and hair types all at once it, it's not the way that it should be in my opinion and then beard you get different beards oh so yeah uh let's take a female i usually play as a female there's very few eye options there's literally eight different eye options and it's like a milky eye and then purple milky eye and green milky eye and orange milky eye and blue and then it's the same options again purple green uh, orange and blue without the milky eye so actually there's just two different eye options milky eye and no milky eye and then there's four different color options so really the the, the different options are really lacking in my opinion there are not a lot of options just two different options with the eyes and then with the hair there's uh 50 times five so there's 10 different hair options because each each one you can recolor five times basically one two three four uh, four times so four uh so that's 12 12 different hair styles that's not too bad you know 12 different hair styles so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then bold so yeah there's 12 different hairstyles you know, which is fine you know 12 different hairstyles is fine that's a uh, an okay amount of different hairstyles um even though as i already said i would have just liked it if the hairstyles were in their own separate column and then hair color was in a different column 
there's no color no options for brows no different brows and quite honestly the brows look like a piece of string it looks like a, a piece of twine almost so that is definitely not particularly good okay apparently you can run around in your bra if you want to do that It's a nice variation of um, clothes. One, two, three, four, three. So there's three times nine. That's about six, six or seven different chest options, which is not terrible. And then the hats. The 38 1 2 3 4 4 3 so that's 13 different hat options so there's um whatever six or seven different chest options and 13 different hat options this for some reason reminds me of um Deuce Bigelow. If you know the scene from Deuce Bigelow, this reminds me of that scene. I think I'm happy with no uh, hat. The, the hats don't really impress me. Holy shit, you can actually run around like that. Like, what the hell? Like, imagine running a tavern, you go into the tavern and this greets you. Like, holy crap. You will basically be asking what what is the off-menu prices. Like, the food prices, drink prices, and then the off-menu prices. So we're not going to be running around like that. I want to play a horny game, I'll go play bloody cyberpunk or something like that. This is not going to be the horny game. honestly wish they had a slider for the color like i don't understand why developers add preset colors like why can't i make this shirt green or why can't i make it bloody purple or gold like the, they sh if they allow you to change the color like this then they should fucking just give you a slider just give you a 
a hue changing slider then you can select your own color like i don't like the fact that i can't select the color that i actually want to select you know i have to be, to be brutally honest this doesn't look as good as this like i just like this look like nudity aside even though there's no nudity but i i don't like this I don't like the fact that it goes over the pants. I would have liked it to not go over the pants. So I would have taken this, but like I don't like the color and I don't like the design. The um, belt is not centered, which is really triggering me. Like there is the center, the center line. And you can see that the belt is off to the left, which like why? Why is that? Why isn't it centered? that's really triggering me so we're just gonna do it like this honestly this looks way better and fucking hell the the belt is still there can't we get rid of the belt no the bloody belt looks like it's a uh, something you can't even remove even when you're bloody naked you can't re remove the belt how the hell does she have armor on her kneecaps like how does that make any sense Oh wait, here's the belt. Ah, there we go. Bloody hell. I didn't even see the belt um, thing over there. Yeah, that belt pisses me off. The fact that it's not centered. Holy shit. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. How the hell is this a bloody belt? It looks more like a skirt. Yeah, all of these look absolutely shitty when compared to this. This one especially, I like this color, the, the royal blue and, and gold. That looks fucking amazing. That looks really good. I might even take away my, my pants. Let's see how it looks without pants. Yeah, that actually looks pretty bloody good, honestly. And then boots. Do I want these boots with the, I don't know what you call those, kneecap guards, folders, whatever. Folders are usually for the shoulders. But I don't know what you call it when it's on a, um, uh, on the kneecaps. N knee guards? I guess it's knee guards, maybe. I like these boots, but there's no blue boots. Like, honestly, if I could make these boots blue, I would take these boots. But once again, like I said, ah, oh, there we go. That's actually not terrible. But now that's not gold. I would like these to be gold. Like, why can't they just give you the color that you want? Like, this looks fine, but it doesn't, like, it would have looked better if that was gold. Why can't I just allow you to select the color that you want to select? Barefoot looks a little bit too much like a village peasant, you know? Like when I see a barefoot girl, I just think like, okay, that's a peasant. In fantasy games, obviously, not in real life. In real life, I just think like, wow, like that's a crazy girl. You have to be crazy to walk around fucking barefoot. But... Uh, yeah, like this looks okay. I think we can go like this. I would like to be able to change the color of the bra. It's not a fantastic color. Um, it's not quite black, but it's not quite gray. It's like a weird color. But anyway, I think this is, is not too bad. I think we can go with this. I would have wanted to change colors. And obviously I would prefer to not be walking around in a bra. But since I cannot change the color of these. Um, and look at the clipping. The clipping is really bad. That clipping is terrible. It completely spoils the belt. So honestly I am not impressed by the options at all. The, the options don't mesh together. 
very well at fucking all and you can't change the colors um so yeah that's not not very good honestly uh, uh overall it's a subpar um char character creator in my opinion because there's simply not enough options and shit like this um should not be happening that does not look good but anyway uh we can jump into the game i think that's fine i'm not super happy but it's fine overall I talk to the merchant. I'm assuming this one. Let me assume you are the new owner of the tavern we're standing in front of. Wow, you are a seer. Yes, all of my savings and inheritance went to acquire this tavern. My dream has come true. Some dream of becoming knights in shining armor, saving royal figures, engaging in duels and determining the fate of the world. And you dream of serving oatmeal and ale to commoners? Well, why oatmeal? I have a knack for culinary arts. My purpose is to turn sad and hungry citizens into happy and well-fed ones. Well, it's a noble cause. The people around here love to eat and drink, and they know how to have fun. Nice to meet you. And who might you be? I'm a simple merchant. I was about to set off looking for a busier place, but perhaps I'll stay. I see potential in you, and where there's potential, there's trade. In short, if you need anything, come to me to buy, to sell, and I'll also share some news with you. What a wonderful place, and such kind people. Our land is wonderful indeed, but it's not always peaceful, especially at night. Monsters roam the forests and swamps, disturbing the peace. But don't be afraid. I have weapons, too. Could you elaborate on that? Don't sweat it. It's mostly just village ghost stories. But getting an axe is a good idea. You'll use it to keep things in line at the tavern and to send any troublemaker packing. You have a way with words. I already detected at least two times where the audio sounds like it's ai generated i might be wrong but the way that the voice actress said oatmeal and nice as well oatmeal and nice those two words did not sound like a normal person saying them so we might have a game where there's ai voice acting which is fine um i just like to point out when i see that it is indeed um ai voice acting because i know some people have an issue with that honestly like uh i totally get that um some people have an issue with the fact that a voice actor or voice actress could have been paid to do work. I'm not saying uh, that this game has um, AI voice acting yet, because I haven't deter determined that yet, but in the case that it does have AI voice acting, you need to remember that if it weren't for the, the AI voice acting, even though I'm saying AI voice acting, it's actually LLM voice acting, so let me just use the right term. Um, in, in the case where this game... Like, this game does not have the budget. Or, or many games, many, many indie games don't have the budget to have a voice actor or voice actress. They simply do not have the budget. Because voice acting costs a lot of money. It doesn't cost a shitload of money, but it does cost a lot of money. Because you need to pay a voice actor or voice actress for voicing a whole bunch of lines. So... If you can get away with essentially 
not paying that because you wouldn't have paid that expense in any way like you in any way could not afford to put uh, voice acting in your game but if you can get away with doing uh, LLM uh, voice acting large language learning model voice acting then um, you can do it then I absolutely have no issue with using LLM voice acting the issue is when games like Ubisoft or Blizzard or Electronic Arts or those multi-billion dollar companies when they use uh, LLM or generative um, AI technology in their games that's absolutely fucking inexcusable because they are actively avoiding employing people and that that in my opinion is immoral but if you're an indie game and you would have in any way not been able to pay voice actresses or actors to act in your game then I don't have any issue with using uh, LLM or generative AI voice acting in your game. So I don't have an issue. If this game does use that, I don't have an issue with it. So what am I supposed to buy here? Okay, axe. I'm assuming I need to buy an axe. <laughs> Break the planks to get into the tavern. I can't see shit. A little bit of bloody lag there. Break three old barrels or crates. Buy a broom. Greetings, traveler. I already see the game has durability. I don't like games that have durability. I'm assuming I have to press 2 to swap to my broom. The tutorial isn't telling me any of that. Let's turn the music up a little bit just so that we can appreciate if the game has good good music or not. Okay, so it just says install. It doesn't give me any guidance whatsoever. 
regarding how to install it. So, the tutorial so far is pretty dog shit. Apparently I can't clear that away. So, um, brewing pot, I don't know, dishwasher, single burner stove, fermenter, Barrel holder. Where am I supposed to put the barrel holder? Nothing, nothing is coming. Holder on the desk. Where? Oh, here. Okay, I guess so. Buy a barrel, buy barley, buy a bucket, buy a mug. Greetings, traveler. Barley, barrel, mug, bucket. Light. Fill the bucket with water. We have to select the bucket. Go over here, fill it up. You need to remember that tutorial is not telling me any of this. I'm just doing these things because I've played a lot of games. And I know how these games function normally. How do you... Water? Water bucket? You see, even this, the game isn't telling me any of this. I literally am doing all of this because I know how to play games. A person who doesn't know how to do any of this will be absolutely fucking stuck. Because how are you supposed to know that you're supposed to run over here, press E, open the inventory, drag the items over, like then you're not being told any of this. The tuto tutorial is really dog shit so far. It's, it's non-existent. I don't see anything more to clean. Ah, here we go. Once again, the tutorial isn't telling me any of this. Can we place it outside? I guess that's fine.
And now I need to go buy barley. Why doesn't the, 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 the quest thing tell me that? Greetings, traveler. Don't see any more dirt. I don't know where we are gonna get those last fifteen percent points for cleaning. Maybe on the second floor or something like that. Uh, add a barley porridge to the menu. Add ale to the menu. Okay, I guess I just click there. I'm just assuming because the tutorial doesn't tell you. Open the tavern. And then I need more plates as well. Greetings, traveler. Got a whole bunch of ale, whole bunch of those. Take that, take that. Barley wort. Look. Greeting. Interested in making a deal? I need a barrel. I need to I can use this barrel I guess like I'll barrel um, why can't I why can't I fill it up you can't fucking fill it up why not I'm not getting any money from you guys. Oh, there I got some money. Okay.
That's a nice bra. I don't get that option. That bra option when I uh, was creating my character. Okay, so I made 200 gold. Okay, mini mini game bullshit. Old left click to clean. Oh, fucking! I have to swing my mouse like a moron. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of mini games. I have to be honest. As long as they're not too uh, consecutive and too tedious, then it's not the end of the world. But yeah, generally I'm not someone who enjoys doing mini games. I still need to buy a second barrel. Serve 10 dishes. I take the barrel, then we fill the barrel up, put the barrel here again, uh, it's stupid that you have to select the barrel, you can't just press the action button, you actually have to select the barrel, I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Inventory is also really small, why can't the inventory be a little bit bigger? Um, okay, so what I want is second barrel. Uh, I can get more cups and and um, stuff like that. What do you do with this compost bin? Where the hell is the compost bin? I don't know. The game hasn't told me any of that yet. Greetings, traveler. can get another table maybe compost bin I don't have yet jukebox will be nice Uh, we can make more food and we can make some more drink. You see like here you just press the action button and then your barrel your your bucket is automatically filled. Whereas with the ale you can't do that. Bigger bloody inventory. My inventory is full. Don't I have storage? Like, where's the storage in this game? Put dish, put dish. Oh, can you do this? Oh, I guess you can do this, apparently. Put dishes. Ah, oh, there we go. So, will they come get the dishes themselves, or, or how does it work? 
once again. Not a lot is explained in this fucking game. Okay, cook. Need a mug. I need mugs. And I need a table. Wow, she wanted two. He's fucking greetings, traveler. Going for gold. Are you drunk or what's going on? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know what the point is of putting the stuff here. I guess maybe that's for like multiplayer. Um, if you um, have a second player, then the second player can take those from there, I, I guess. But I mean, that has absolutely no impact on single player and i'm obviously evaluating the single player so if that is absolutely useless with regards to single player then it is literally a a uh, non-existent i don't know why you're just sitting here it's a non-existent mechanic essentially i wonder if i should put these back in my inventory she's just sitting here and singing i guess that that has a chance of happening if they get drunk or something i'm not sure so i need i think uh, 350 for another table if I get two tables, I think that will obviously increase our um, our capacity to uh, get money, you know, more more clients and all of that kind of stuff. Banish the drunk customer. How do you do that? Do I hit you? How do I do that? Punish the drunk customer. Oh. An order has arrived. Check the board. You see, they don't even tell you where the fucking board is. Okay, so... Uh, what? Where's the quest? Deliver food to the customer. What customer? That one over there. Holy balls. Okay, I have porridge and I have ale. You see, none of this is explained. You literally have to uh, track the quest. You have to put the quest on follow. And then you have to fucking run over here. Like, how are you supposed to figure all of this shit out on your own? The tutorial is fucking terrible in this game. Okay, are you happy? Okay. Loot battle. Are you guys hostile? You look a, look a little bit hostile. Hmm. 
Mm, you look hostile. Yep, um, as soon as music starts, you, you know that it's hostile. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna buy a new table in just a second. Oh, I need more... what? Food? Drinks? Yeah, it seems like they don't come in here and take their own stuff, so you have to serve them. Okay, are you guys happy? Let me get another table. Greetings, traveler. Yes, yes. And then jukebox. I don't have a jukebox yet. Paste will be nice. Let's see what happens when we put this table inside. Dogs stand. What's this? What's the purpose? Dogs stand. I have no idea what this does. Oh, decoration. Okay. I guess so. Unable to get to his seat, change the furniture arrangement. I don't have any more porridge. You want porridge as well.
need more water. I can already see that this game is just a shitload of running around. It's like any of those types of games where you're supposed to go operate, you know. Um, there's the one space game that I know I have where you're on a spaceship and as you're flying around your spaceship takes damage and you have to pilot the ship around asteroids and um, as it gets damaged you have to repair it um, and it's just like a whole bunch of fucking stuff that you constantly have to do and that game is very much meant to be played with multiple people, you know, with an entire crew to um, basically crew the ship, you know, one navigator, one repair guy, uh, one guy on the weapons to shoot the asteroids, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, like this game, I think is playable solo it does certainly seem to be uh playable solo but it will definitely be a lot easier um oh no i need ale will be a lot easier if you play it with players you know with other players but so far it it's not terrible, you know, as a solo player, it seems playable. The question is just, is it fun, you know? I don't actually mean to hit you. I do like your singing, but you guys need to move on. I want to check if I put the dishes here. Do they come take the dishes automatically or not? Yeah, you see, they don't... What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking zombies. Hey, 58 gold. Okay, I like zombies. Can I clean you out? No. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, he chased away my customer. What the hell? There. Yeah, so you even have to deal with that shit. What? Okay. Need a plate. Oh, I probably don't have any, um... Clean plates. I have a bunch of plates, but no clean plates. This uh, mini game isn't too tedious, you know. I don't have a real issue with this mini game. I have 800 gold. I can put another table down if I want to. I see things are going smoothly for you. 
Don't you think it's time to get your hands a little dirty? I mean, learning to grow your own plants. In the backyard of the tavern, there are garden beds and a creature that will be your guide into the fantastic world of plants. Why did all of you go away? Or are you happy? I think they were just happy. I did serve them. I don't know if that actually adds anything, you know, does it make my my place more appealing or what? I have no idea. I would hope that it does. was also a new order I think deliver food 110 so where's that dude you see you have to open here again go over here again follow I can't even see how far that is Does the game have a map? No, the game doesn't have a map. I'm I'm pressing um, M, but I'm not getting any map. Holy balls, that's far. I guess that's that and then let's check out the next quest follow check the backyard how the hell are you even supposed to see where the tavern is again i mean you can follow the road but if you go too far away from the road how are you going to know where the tavern is like there's no map and there's no indicators for the tavern so how the balls are you supposed to know where it is? Okay, I need to move this table. I need plates, put water, I don't have any water. Good day to you. What do you want? Hello, scary. My mother said I'm handsome. You are. You're a very handsome scarecrow. For someone, I'm sure you're the centerpiece of this, um, what's that garbage dump around here? Okay, aren't you going to continue to talk? I'm not going to stand next to you the whole fucking time.
also need to put a new battle over there. You need to leave. Change the furniture arrangement. What bullshit are you talking about? How the hell did I just get a message that there's not space when clearly there's two open spaces over here and there's four open spaces over there? Like, how is that even possible? Clearly, there's a real bloody issue with the, um, the AI of the game with regards to them finding seating and all of that because... It, it seems if you put something too close to the wall or anything like that then they simply don't find a seat which is dog shit it's supposed to be built into the game that they can sit within the range of the building that is why when you place a table or you place anything it shows an outline and that outline is supposed to take into consideration the eating arrangements and all of that kind of stuff but now what you're forced to do is you're forced to every time you place an object to manually move it a little bit away from the edge of the um from the wall otherwise um it's not gonna be okay because people are constantly not going to be able to sit there so the game has issues like the game as i said at the beginning skipped the early access period it didn't have an access period and uh, now honestly that is showing a little bit because um the game has glitches Need a mug. How is all of my mugs dirty? But yeah, honestly, um, I completely understand the the uh, appeal of the game. I understand the the core game loop of the game, um, and all of that kind of stuff. Like the game is fine, you know. Honestly, um, it's not really the type of game that I traditionally enjoy like i i don't really enjoy a game where you have to run around like a headless fucking chicken like you have to do in this game um i like the environment you know like if this perhaps wasn't so focused on the running the tavern as much like perhaps if you could uh, hire an employee or something like that um, I would have much 
like to the game that way in my opinion like um there are some games that i've played in the past uh Tav tavern master is one of them i believe i do have a review of tavern master um on my channel already from many years ago and uh, we need to take this one and fill it up like a game like tavern master you can uh, hire employees fucking hate the fact that i have to select this item e each and every time you have to have it selected before you can place it there which is stupid um so you can hire employees in in that game and that leaves you to be able to go out and collect resources and whatever whatever you know um i prefer the game being that way as opposed to this where really you're constantly busy with the um the management of the tavern you know you're just constantly busy barley seed oh so you can even plant stuff that's interesting mug shelf plate shelf Girl. i guess we can get a shelf we can also get another table let's get a table and then i'll get a shelf after that don't i have any uh so like yeah like i i like the idea of the game um it's traditionally not a game that i would really just play because as i say it's not really my kind of game but i can definitely see that it would definitely appeal to certain people and yeah i think the game would be less hectic if you had someone to play with you you know because right now it's really quite hectic because i'm constantly busy you know i can't go out and uh kill boar for experience i can't go out and go kill some zombies i can't even go deliver my one quest that i have right now um because i'm busy i'm busy running the the tavern you know there's really no downtime with regards to running the tavern if you want to go out you either have to close the tavern which just literally loses you money or you can just leave your ta tavern open and ignore the customers but i'm not sure if they will get angry or any anything like that or perhaps if your um tavern will lose reputation i'm not sure if that can happen i would have to test that by just leaving my tavern open and just ignoring all of my customers so um why can't i serve you so it's possible that you could lose reputation if you just ignore your customers you know um but yeah like honestly it's hectic it's really hectic you constantly have to tend to your customers otherwise you don't get gold you don't get experience you will just literally not get anything if you just ignore your customers and go out and do whatever else like there's a big world out there i'm guessing there's no map unfortunately which is really fucking stupid uh, no map anywhere so like it sucks like you can't find your your tavern again easily you will absolutely get lost if you just go out and go do shit um i'm not sure what happens if you die we can maybe test that what happens if you die where's a boar i'm not sure that save okay well the game only only has one save slot that's an issue so let's see what happens if you die 
Come on board. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I'm dead. And then do you have to pay the gold? What if you don't have any gold? Okay, so you respawn, you lose gold, you don't lose your inventory at least. Because I don't like games where that happens. So yeah, you just lose a little bit of gold. It's not too bad, honestly. Um, but yeah, honestly, as far as the single player aspect of the game goes. Um, yeah, like, it's not bad. It's just really, really fucking hectic. Like, you constantly are busy managing your inn. You don't have time to go out and explore the world. I'm sure there is a lot of stuff out there in the world. As we saw, I found that one camp. And you get loot in the camp. And there's enemies to fight. There's boars. There's zombies. There's humans that attack you. So, there is a world out there to explore. The issue is just, you don't have time to do that, really. If you had a co-op, if, if, if you were playing with people, you could do that. You could assign one person to running the inn, and then one person to going out and explore. But I'm not reviewing the the co-op part of the game i'm reviewing the single player and honestly as a single player game the game is just really really hectic like if you're if you're okay with a really hectic game and essentially not having time to explore the world i mean you can explore the world but it's going to be inefficient because you're going to be losing customers and me as a player who likes to at all times get maximum um efficiency out of a game uh, i i feel bad when i'm not 100 percent efficient i don't enjoy games if i know that i'm not being 100 percent efficient in the game and in this game, as a single player, you literally cannot be 100% efficient the whole time. Um, so that, that leaves a bad taste in your mouth, you know. Because you cannot be 100% efficient at, at, at all times. Um, so yeah. So really at the end of the day, can I recommend the game as a single player game with a single player experience for $15? Um, like it, this game will really appeal to a certain type of player. It won't appeal to people who just want a relaxing tavern management simulator game. You know, this game is absolutely not that type of game. If you're looking for a game like that, then look at something like um, a Tavern Manager. Uh, tavern Manager, I actually have to... I just want to see, does the game actually pause? You see, the game doesn't even pause. When you have the, the menu open, the game doesn't pause. That's another issue. Uh, all unsaved progress. Well, I just saved. Then we will exit. So, I want to show you guys the other games that I'm talking about. Um, one second. So, we go over here. And then... We go over here. Okay, so... Um, tavern, Tavern... The Tavern Master, there's the game that I was talking about. I reviewed it a long time ago. You can see that I played it three years ago, and I reviewed it three years ago. So this game is not first person, this game is uh, top down, so it's a top down game. And as far as I can remember, I did recommend this game. This game is, is pretty good, um, and you can assign workers 
to do a lot of the work for you so you still have to do some of the work you still have to manage the the tavern but you at least have a little bit of help in the form of employees you know the fact that you can't get employees in um ale and tail is going to make the game very very hectic and it will be literally impossible to play the game 100 percent efficiently as a solo player because you cannot deliver quests while doing the tavern you cannot um uh go out and harvest stuff and search for mushrooms kill boars while also um doing the tavern so you can't play the game efficiently as a solo player another game that i also did review is winkelkey uh, it's a i think a dutch a dutch uh, from from a dutch developer and this game is also similar to tavern manager um that i just showed you guys um but uh, i didn't recommend this game it, it's still a, an okay game if you're looking for a tavern manager type game you know but it's not as good as uh uh tavern manager in my opinion um but in this one as far as i can remember you can also hire uh, employees to do a lot of the work for you so you still have to manage a lot of the game of, of the tavern but you can actually have employees in your tavern to just make your life a little bit easier um and that's honestly what i would have wanted to see from island tail like i totally get that the game will be much less um of a hectic experience if you play with friends but that's completely different that's a completely different experience that you're gonna have if you play the game with friends my opinion is that if the game isn't worthwhile solo then i don't care about the multiplayer the game has to be worth solo and then if the game is is playable solo and if the game is worth 15 dollars solo then i will evaluate the multiplayer and evaluate whether or not the game is worth playing on on multiplayer with with more more people um and honestly i i struggle to recommend this game as a solo player like, like i said you, you can totally just ignore the tavern ignore your customers or just completely close the tavern down temporarily and then go out and explore and all of that kind of stuff you could totally do that but it feels bad as a solo player it feels inefficient you know and then obviously apart from that there are bugs in the game as i already said with the the placement um of the furniture um people are constantly complaining that there's no space in your tavern even though there is absolutely space in the tavern so there's clearly some issues with the the design the ai design of um the tavern patrons because they they can't find a place in your um in your tavern while there definitely is place in your tavern so there's place in your tavern but they the ai for some reason decides nope this tavern is full and there isn't any place so the game needs to to get those issues um sorted so honestly for 15 dollars um i i think the game is worth it for 15 dollars even as a solo player i think the game is worth it um i just think that there's definitely things that can be improved if you could um get employees i would recommend this game without any issues like honestly if you could get 
a dishwasher employee and a, a serving employee like i i can place um i can place food out on the on the tavern uh, the, the 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 bar section which is just just over here to the right i can place food there but the the tavern the the, the people don't even come and get it that's another issue even though there's literally food there they don't even come and take the stuff so the game literally only allows a human a human player to take that that food and that entire area the bar area is for a human player to put down food and then pick up food to take to the npcs and that's an issue even in in solo like i can put food down there but it will stay there forever it will not go anywhere so i would like to see the the npcs actually go over there collect the food and go sit down that will make your life a lot easier or you must be allowed to hire employees um, because right now the game is just way too hectic as a solo player so i i can recommend the game but it is a tentative recommendation and the developers need to figure out a way to make the life of a solo player easier less hectic by allowing you to hire employees or something like that um, the bugs need to be fixed the game needs to have a map i mean the game doesn't even have a map uh, the game needs a tutorial the game doesn't have a tutorial right now um, it has the little shitty quests at the top right but that's not a tutorial the game needs a tutorial like the game does not have a tut tutorial currently and um i mean i i as a solo player was struggling to run the inn uh with two tables i literally just have two tables imagine how fucking hectic the game is gonna be if you have five tables or six tables once you ta your tavern actually gets big enough where you have many tables the second story of your tavern is also going to be able to get populated like you are not going to be able to serve all of your tavern patrons and that's going to be an issue you know so if you think the game is hectic in the first fucking hour of the game then wait until you've actually placed down five or six or seven tables you're not going to be able to keep up as a solo player and i think at that point the game will become so hectic that it will just not be playable really because you won't will not be able to serve all of your patrons as a solo player so the game is absolutely more playable with co-op but i'm evaluating this the solo single player and i have to say the solo single player leaves a lot to be desired so i can recommend the game ten tentatively but there are definitely things that the developers can do to improve the solo single player uh, experience for uh, the player so yeah guys that is pretty much it that is uh Ail and tail uh i will put a link to the steam in the description below so you can check that out if you want to uh, thanks a lot to the developer for sending me a code and then as always if you want to allow me to do more reviews then you can support me on patreon.com forward slash lfp it allows me to purchase more games to do more reviews for you guys so yeah guys that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching and i will see you guys next time